we as Christians win here too, and you gotta get used to that as well. We gotta stop the bigotry against Christianity, my friends. I'm not against you, I'm on your side, I'm fighting for your soul. I'm fighting for your soul. You see, you're being vile right now, you're being lewd. You're being lewd. Have some respect for yourself. Have some respect for yourself. I don't wanna see your nipples. I don't wanna see your nipples. You think that's okay? What if I did that to them? Were you laughing like it's okay? You, I just saw you laughing because she pointed on my foot. I saw you smiling. Can you please just do your job? It's crazy. So if I get assaulted, it's okay and the police laugh. But if I were to touch one of you, then it's, uh, I'm in jail. Time limited. Look, I'm not against you. I'm fighting for your soul. One day you're going to die. You have a soul in your body. It's going to go to heaven or hell. And it's not based on how good we are. It's based on who we know. And I'm inviting you to a relationship with Jesus Christ. But we must repent for our sin. We must cry out to God. We must seek the Lord where he may be found. Alright, yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm not gonna stop. Are you having fun? It has to do with sexual immorality in general. That we are celebrating a lifestyle that goes against the ways of God. And I'm asking you. Repent for your sin and find mercy, find forgiveness, find grace. Grace is available to everyone. Grace is available to everyone, my friends. He died on the cross. He died for your sins. On the third day, was on the third day, he was raised from the dead. inside of us. I'm pleading with you today. God committed his love for us that while we were still yet sinners, Christ died for us. It's shameful that we have our children out here when people are showing their nipples and doing all kinds of manner of evil. Yeah, we're exposing our children. You know what though? A woman got angry at me this morning because I talked to her daughter about living a, a, a life of morality. We expose our children to all manner of lasciviousness, yet we have a problem and we have moral discussion. We've gone against the ways of God. I think Jesus would be quite relaxed here. Jesus would not be quite relaxed here. Jesus is not a hippie. Jesus is not this easy going. He's a God who just lets everything go. God is holy. He's light. And in there's no darkness. He's perfect in every way. And I love you, man. I'm not against you. I'm not saying that I hate you. I'm saying that I care about you. That's why I'm telling you the truth. Just like if your parents saw you doing something that went against what they were teaching, they would sit you down and have a discussion with you. The problem is we've become so intolerant having any discussion that goes against our own narrative. We must begin to consider that the lifestyle that we're living is going against the very nature of our bodies. You're not welcome here. Why don't you just off? There we go. Language. Language. Lord Jesus, help us to know that you're moving in this place. We've seen so much opposition today. I saw so much spiritual warfare today, God. And now I know why, because the city is in the midst of such a spiritual turmoil. But God, you are the name above every name. And we lift your name up as a banner of love in this place. God, let your love just saturate the souls of the hurting here tonight. Lord God, give us opportunities to have conversations, to edify 
uh, those who are looking for answers, looking for truth, to be able to impart the bread of life, the river of living water, that they can taste and see that you're good. No, because I want everybody to hear. I'll give you the mic too. Just don't, don't grab the mic, but I'll let you talk into the mic. Fair? Well, because I own this mic, yes, because it's my private property. But you don't own the event. We're all participants in the event, whether we acknowledge. Okay. So you can talk. Would you like to talk? I think you should talk. Okay. human rights. You have a right to do whatever you want as long as it's legal, right? But I have a right to freedom of expression because it's legal. Now, we should be able, we should be able to have an intelligent conversation without being violent, without allowing ourselves to be overcome by emotion. I understand it's a sensitive issue. I understand that there is a lot of hurt that's in the story right now. God is faithful. Jesus loves you. He cares about you. Okay. God loves you. He cares about you. If you want to Jesus, He will forgive your sin and will give you a relationship. Where do I need to go? You told me I could go out here then. Oh, said so that he can lift us up. That's the question. We must humble ourselves in God's sight. I did. I took Satan's out my ass. It made me very humble. It was a sweet How does it make you, make you feel? It's so good because he hit my G-spot. It makes you feel good to speak that vile. You're vile. You need to repent. Take one to no one. Have some respect for yourself, my friend. You're speaking so vile. How come you turn up to the gay events all the time? I show up to places all over the world, sir. How do you know where I show up to? You watch my YouTube channel? I'm not. I'm probably kidding. No. Okay. But they're not open. Yes. It is enormously small-minded. No, no, no. Because we want everyone to understand. Okay. You're saying it's not okay for me to impose my views on other people. Yet, this event is exactly that. To impose your views on us as a Christian community. So, we have a double standard, my friends, because it's okay for you to impose your views of life that go against my Christian principles, but it's not okay for me to tell you what my Christian principles are. So that is, it's double-minded, it's hypocritical, we must repent. We're here to tell you about the great message of the cross of Jesus Christ, that he loves you, that he has great plans for your life, plans of holiness and righteousness, and not of evil. A plan for you to live a life of holiness and turning away from all sins. You know the Bible says that all of us have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, and the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the Lion from the tribe of Judah, the one that 
dying on the cross 2020 years ago you've got to find the truth about jesus christ the truth is that jesus is holy he is god almighty he is the soon coming king he's the king of glory he is the savior that wants to save and he wants to save you and me and that is god's plan that for all of us to repent to turn away from our sins from all idolatry witchcraft sexual immorality sexual perversion homosexuality sodomite sleep drunkenness today is the day of salvation and we must turn away from all lying from being lovers of ourselves lovers of money unforgiving turning away from all witchcraft from all haughty eyes lovers of of pleasure rather than lovers of God I'm not try it again they get loud they're loud enough just go out in the middle of the square so <laughs> just do it so today is the day of salvation we want to tell you that God loves you that he cares about you that he can break the power of sexual immorality in your life the more you you get into it the more the deep you are into the, the sins of perversion and sexual immorality you become you are controlled by the devil that uh, that you become suicidal then you become uh, very depressed and anxiety and all sorts of trouble but we want to tell you that you can be free from the power of sin, from the power of darkness. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. He is a liar from, all the, from the beginning. God is the God of righteousness. And He's the God of holiness. He loves you. You know, I'm a sinner just like you. All of us have seen and first shown in the glory of God. And the righteous of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. That Christ has a great plan for your life, plan to bless you, to give you a hope in the future. That God has all this trash, trash, trash. Great plans to love you, to care about you. That we must repent today is the day of salvation. The Bible said that do not be deceived. No fornicators, oh! no idolaters, no sodomites, no thieves, no drunkards, no homosexual, no sodomites, no having so, no peace will enter into the kingdom of God. Today is the day of salvation. People, we need to repent and turn away from our sins. So today, you can receive Christ in your heart. You can be set free from the power of sin, from the power of darkness, because God has great plans for you. Heaven and no hell. Jesus said that, that, that God created hell for the devil and his angels. God has great plan for you, plan of liberty, not liberty to sin, but liberty to worship God, to honor Him, to give Him all the glory and honor and praise. So we want to tell you that today is the day of salvation. My question is, if you die today, would you go to heaven or hell? It does. No, that's what I just said. Our community, our community does have higher rates of depression and suicide. Do you think the acts like this contribute to that? Like, do you understand why this is really damaging? But we're here to tell you, honestly. This place of torment, this place of torment, but hear me out, what we're telling you is that if you accept the truth of God's word, and you There's no pizza in hell. Run to Jesus in your relationship, and He will bring the change that's necessary. And He will bring one second. He'll bring with change. He'll bring peace. And He will have to be in your heart. Does this not look peaceful to you? This doesn't look peaceful to you. This doesn't look peaceful to you. This 
to tell you. Oh, there's more hurt, I swear, than the rest of the time. And so much acceptance. I am just like you. All of us are in the body of God. And the righteous are sitting still. How they're showing their nipples. And but today, we tell the sin salvation through Jesus Christ. There is freedom to do whatever we want to do. But there is consequences of our choices. You know? Do you see who this day, who you're going to serve? What are you going to say? For you to be okay. here, yeah. and to be so loud, and to be so Do you feel like it's unfair for us as Christians, who just by Christian values, for you to parade through our cities and force your love for you? It's everyone's city! Exactly, exactly. So what if I, if I had a Christian march, you would be so upset. I wouldn't, but it would not give me your Christian march. You already do all the time. You take it away Christian rights all the time. We can't we can't bring it to school anymore. You can bring your gay rights right flag to school, but we can't bring our Bible. Okay? We can't pray. No. You can't Not in America. I don't know what the local laws are here. We're going to tell you. Why are you preaching to us about how country? This is the way that our whole society is going. Our whole society is becoming more open to the world. More open to the world. And that's like, that's why we're here today. To show people the world. The God cares about you. And he loves you. Can I tell you something? Okay, I know you're out here. I grew up Christian, or are you just out here supporting? I grew up Christian. My sister is Christian. She's no, Christian no, no. in a church which accepts LGBT people. She's not a Christian. Today is a day of salvation. Today we must turn around to our sins. She's studying in ministries right now. Have you ever read Romans chapter 1? Where it talks about we, we have begun using our, our bodies in a way that's unnatural. I, I, read, I read the Bible. We're going to have to look at it. Thank you for giving me the time. Can I just encourage you to read Romans chapter 1? And just ask God. You know, God still loves you. Sir, God still loves you. No matter what your choice is, God do it. The truth is, you can do it if you end up in hell. Because it's your own choice. We're here. We're here. What about the North no State louder than us? Yeah, they've got a permit for that. They've Wait, can you show me the permit? permit? Who, the people? Or the Is this public property or private? It's no, public, it's right? Public. So we have a right to be yeah, here legally. It's public. You have a right for a permit. You can't make us leave. We're not asking you to leave. We're asking you to stop using microphones. No, no, we're not even managers. manager. So the, um, you don't have to have a permit. The cops would stop us if we needed a permit. What about the cops? It's the police's job to stop us if we don't have a permit. It's not your job. That's not part of your job. I've preached enough around the world to know local laws and regulations. Yeah, yeah it's not by law, it's here. Yeah. Okay, yeah. next, who wants to preach? Okay. All right. You repent, forsake your sin, and believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, you will be saved. He's coming back soon. The Lord is full of mercy. Anyone who calls in the name of Jesus Christ will be saved. You must turn from your sins. I beg you to turn from your sins. There are demons in your flesh. If you forsake the sin that you're so immersed in, the demons will leave you. And you will live with a peaceful Holy Spirit fire that can change you. Thank God for bringing us all here today. We're all here. Not as a coincidence. My friends, I want to tell you that all of us are enemies of God. We've all fallen short. I'm here today. I'm no better than anyone. This lady is assaulted me. I didn't even say anything. I said I'm the worst person than anyone, and she's assaulted me. 
but no one's doing anything. You see, the funny thing is, when people come, you can preach about anything you want. I can talk about sex, lust, I can tell you, any the sick thing I do, no one will attack me. But once I mention the name of Jesus Christ, you see all the responses, assault, people sway. That's because there's power in the name of Jesus Christ. Many times now the Lord is coming back. The Bible says in the last days, people will laugh at God, mock them. They will say, where is he? Where is he? When is he coming? And then it will come upon a snail on the earth. The sound of the trumpet will blow. And all of us will look up. And we will see the Son of Man ascending down in a cloud of glory. And he will take the righteous with him. But the wicked he has to judge. Because God is love, that is true. But God is also a judge and he loves justice. The same way that a judge on earth we sentence a criminal. The same way God himself will judge us. If we know how to be justice, us who are evil, how much more will the Lord in heaven judge us? Because we stay So, we see that the Lord is kind and merciful. And the time is coming. He's coming back. But he's not coming back as a sacrifice this time. He's coming back as a judge. So this is the Almighty job. Unless we have the Lord Jesus Christ, we will not make it to heaven. Jesus said, I have the way, the truth, and the life. No one. No one went to the kingdom of heaven except for me. So I just want to tell everyone, Jesus is the way. I want you guys to experience relationship with the Creator. There is peace. There is peace in the Lord Jesus. He wants to give you the peace. He is here. Heaven. He is here. The emptiness inside. I'm here to tell you. No one can tell it's not you took the Lord Jesus Christ. So next time, they'll pray to Mary. That's what I tell you guys. She's still down there. The Lord loves you. She's dying. He fights for you. Mary's still dead. She's still in the grave. And I guarantee you that you're on top. But Jesus is alive and he's still right now. He's still alive. Go out of faith and call out to his name and see him on top. See him make miracles in your life. And just humble yourself. He wants a relationship with us. He died for us. The Bible says he bare our iniquities on his body just to heal us. By his stripes we are healed. The Lord Jesus was crucified on the cross, beaten, bleeding, thirsty, hungry. People spit on him, they mocked him, they swore him, they cussed him. Say, I speak for God. But like a lamb, he stayed the silent. Is, and he went all the way to the cross. Uh, and he died to take our place. Because that's what he deserved. That's what I deserved. I deserve to be on the cross. To suffer for the sins that I've committed. The people that I've hurt. All the people that I hurt. Lie to. Ruined relationships. The Lord took my place on the cross. And he took it for everyone. And everyone who should call out to his name. But on the third day, but he's not dead because on the third day he rose again. And that's the gospel. And he's living, sitting at the right corner in heaven, interceding for us. Interceding for us that we may have forgiveness and relationship with the Why? Why is that God He's in heaven. Jesus is alive. There's more proof in this world that Jesus was resurrected than 
he wasn't resurrected. The Lord is alive. He's been exalted to the right hand of the Father in heaven. And he's coming back. The Bible says, we shall hear the sound of a trumpet. And we shall see the sky crop open and the Lord shall come down in a cloud of glory. I don't know why people come here, they cuss. But all I've said is that the Lord loves you. All I've said is the Lord loves you. That's all I've said. He's there when you wake up. In the book of Psalms, it says here on earth, you don't have to move here. It's not even a big okay, business. It's, it's, it's really it's dying out. I know. We were okay. yeah. And he has yeah. to be. Yeah. 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 The Lord is here with Jesus Christ. He died in the cross for our sins. But look, remember, there's also a different ministry. This is just one aspect of our part. And we can't be all like, we're not like a woman. We're men. They need the men. They need the, these are the people who need you yes. to stand in the gap for them. Yes, if, if someone was robbing them, obviously, of course so. We will help Those them. people get robbed all the time. They get beaten up all the time. Yes, like but they have the hardest lives of anybody you've ever met. They yeah. need yeah. church. They yes. need love. They need grace. They need people to feed and clothe them. They don't have that. All they have is words. No, speak words. The whole government gives words. Everyone gives words. God loves you. No, it's not. It's He's everybody's faith. job. It's not everybody. Most people don't want a relationship with me. They don't care. He sent his only begotten son to die on the cross for our sins on the stakes. Yes, that's true. That's true. The gospel is think for about everyone. It. Think about it's for life. everyone. And how we easily take it away oh, from us. First Corinthians chapter 15. Look at the